colleagues, my name is Clara Ize, and it's my pleasure to present uh, the result of uh, our study on behalf of all my co-authors. So as you know, Ilosecal valve is one uh, of the most difficult location to be uh, treated endoscopically. Um, we already uh, know that traction-assisted ESD can uh, facilitate the resection by reducing the time of the procedure and could improve the end block and RZO resection. Uh, this, uh, uh, we, I, I'd like to present you, to you this uh, French case series of uh, ESD. We included uh, all uh, patients with a neurosecal uh, resection, so a total of 106 patients were included in our study. The median diameter of the lesion uh, was uh, 50 mm, and 58% uh, of the lesion invaded uh, the terminal ileum. So uh, here's the result. Uh, the resection uh, rate was uh, n block in, uh, in, in 85%. The R0 resection rate was uh, present in 76% uh, of our cases. Uh, the factor associated with the non R0 resection was lesion covering more than 75% uh, of the ileocecal valve and the anal lip involvement. The terminal ileum uh, was um, not associated with um, uh, non r zero resection. So uh, to uh, conclude, uh, we show in uh, this uh, study that um, traction uh, strategy um, is in uh, ileocecal valve lesion is feasible and this strategy uh, facilitated uh, the resection, included the lesions that um, involve the terminal ileum, and with this uh, technique, the um, procedure time is less than uh, one hour. I'd like to thank you for your attention.